Snip it. <laughs> Stumps, ahoy. Uh, let's see this dismount. There we go. Pretty good. Still got it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. A little something we haven't done in a while here, fishing with LFD. Everybody's favorite fishing dad. So we're out here on the beautiful Lake Fork. Uh, if you guys missed the last video, we got the new adventure off-grid camping vehicle. We got it parked here on the lake. And this is going to be the home base here for a little bit. Uh, might do a little crappie fishing today. We're in April. We got water temps. 65 is what it is right now. Uh, we just, we've just we had some cold fronts. It hasn't really started warming up uh, back up yet uh, until today. Today's a pretty warm day. These next few days are going to be warm. We're going to look uh, with the electronics, look with the live scope, see if we can see crappie on the trees and see if we can just find any uh, bedding areas up shallow. Let's get it, y'all. Four pound line. The crappie, that, that when you spot them, they don't move. They really don't move. They're just uh, stationary. A white bass or a yellow bass or something like that is going to be kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm getting popped. I'm getting a little nibble popped. Yeah, oh, I had one on for a second. A tiny little mouth. That's what that tells me. Just a swarm of little ones. You see f fish that are the size of your jig, probably not going to be crappie. You know, these are probably little yellow bass. I can feel them tapping it. But, oh, I just had one on. But they're not getting the hook. They're just kind of getting the end of the plastic. You can see that little one eating it there. And uh, I'm sure if I dropped a spoon, I would get shellacked. But uh, these are not crappie. It looks like these are school yellow bass. They are, they are delicious. These, these are delicious fish to eat. They are not the crappies we're looking for. The crappies. Look at the stripe down his back. Isn't that crazy? Oh yeah, that's cool. I had to literally just leave it there and not move it for about a minute. He's not very big. I think I'll let him go. Beautiful. He is pretty. That's what you always say when they're small. Ooh. Probably just trying to take a piss. Oh, he just set the hook. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's got it. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh God. Big. Camera guy got up. Oh god, that's a big ass fish. It is. Four jump. That's a giant fish, Dad. This thing's huge. You know he would already have him in if he was. Oh god, this thing's huge. Yeah, look at him. He's getting down. It's huge. Oh my god. We might just saw the winning deal right oh there. My god. Look how big that looks. That's from at here. least an eight. Yeah. Damn, we suck. Oh, got him. They smoked it. Oh, that's a good one. Come here, baby. Yeah, I know. Ooh, this one's got some fungus growing. Fungi. Fungi face. Would you eat that one, Dad? I got one, too. You got one, too? Yep. Get him. Get him. Come on now. Oh, you got the little <laughs> Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Mine's think yours bigger. is bigger. But mine doesn't have... What the heck? I know. It's not good. It's bubbling. Look at it. Ooh, that's nasty. I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep this one. I think I'll throw him back. Yeah. Here. Here. Here, buddy. Why don't you go over here and get eaten by a big old bass? Stay away from the... Stay away from the rest of the school... Just got my second crappie bite. And you know, me and dad are sitting here on a crappie hole and then a flotilla comes comes around. I guess the uh, the Elite Series is out here. He must be in the lead because he's got like the entire Lake Fork uh, bass boat team out here. I, it was probably at least an eight pound bass because he was, he was excited. I mean, for a pro bass guy to get excited, it's gotta be a, a donkey. So it could have been more, could have been like a 10, but um, it jumped like five times. It was a fight. It was like a 45 second fight. I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun to watch from, from this angle. Apparently the big bass are not spawning in the shallows today. They're out on the points. Go ahead and mark. 
Got one. Got one. And you got it when I wasn't doing anything with it. Look at that little tiny. That's the little tinies. Mm -mm -mm. That one just came off the nipple there. Just fresh off the nipple. I think I think we're on some small ones here, Dad. I that's uh, that's a lot of boats. That would bug me. Would that bug you guys? Let me know in the comments. Like, you know, trolling motors, they, they were pretty far away, but they still have noise. There's still a ping coming off of it. And you got a flotilla of... You got one, Dad? I'm not sure. If that fish is under... Oh, you got you got the daggum? You took their home away. That would just bug me if I was fishing a spot like that. Offshore, too, like fishing a point. Left tee, dismount. Can you do it? There it goes. It's all about the eyeballs. <laughs> I think it's about your knees, you just don't want to admit it. Well, knees and eyeballs. Well, y'all, LFD has got to give it home and mow the grass. So, coming away with a shad catch and a nine inch crappie. <laughs> but we saw an eight plus caught. It was very windy out there. Um, we're, we were going to go explore some other parts of the lake, but didn't want to didn't want to put Dad through the uh, through the washing machine. So I'm going to go back out. Dad's going to go back home, um, and he's going to take just his truck back. He's going to leave the trailer for me. I just my hair looks stupid. Stephanie was right. My mom was too. I apologize for this this stupid hair. Do you need any uh, insect spray and stuff? Insect spray? I'm good. Okay. I got a. I got a bug shield, giant bug shield. So he's going to take off, leave the trailer here. I'm going to hook it up to my truck. And if I want to go fish another lake around here, I can do that. And then LFD is going to come back here in a week and uh, we'll go fishing again. By then I should have some fish dialed. Thank you very much, LFD. Yes, sir. Father, father of the year, every year. On Highway 154 in Yantis, the uh, fishing is still going on, but it should be wrapping up momentarily gotta love that local radio is talking about bass fishing enthusiastic about bass fishing i just heard a commercial for a restaurant offering 10 percent off to all fishermen i mean this is this place this is the reason that i got into fishing like i did because i saw that there was a culture and a community around fishing that i had never seen before i didn't know it existed and I came out here and I saw that and I was like, there is a world of fishing culture here and I, I've been missing out on this. I want to be in this. Make me a part of this. So anyway, that's where Lake Fork Guy came from. Just just cool, sitting here about to have a little lunch. Dad just left and just turned on the radio and they're talking about the weigh-in uh, for, the, for the elite guys and then just, you know, talking about fishing on the radio. I love to hear that, love to hear that. Anybody on beds yet? Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like it. Yep, round two. Let's go get them fish. Yeah, just found some fish off the bank, but I'm gonna wait and fish those after I, I fish up in this pocket right here. I wanna try shallow first, especially coming into the afternoon hours. We're getting evening, really, these last like three hours. There's some brush up shallow. This is an area that I have caught them before and the lake was, it was kind of high when I caught them and it, it's come back up. So I want to see if they're up there. The rain might've messed them up, but if I don't catch them up shallow, I'll move back to where uh, I saw a bunch of them on some brush in, in like the first deep spot coming out of a spawning cove. So it's perfect. Oh my gosh absolutely zooted right there oh one just boiled right there i wonder if that was the old bassy bass oh gosh i had one right there got him there we go crappie in the shallows yes sir 
sir. Spawners, baby. Pull down. This could get a little fun. That's a little male right there. Perfect eater. Put him in the well. I thought I'd gotten smacked in there. And uh, the fish just let go. So it was like three bites. One could have been a bass. It really hit it quite hard. But these fish might be... There's another one. I think they're spawning in here. It's the spawning ground. Got them. Yep, I'm on top of them. I am on top of these crappie right now. Come here. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. Tasty one. Throw you in the whale, too, buddy. Right here. Come here, right on top of them. Might actually need to back out a little bit. Retrieve, come on. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, right here. I mean, just like 10 feet away from the boat. I think I snuck it on top of them. Boo booed that. I boo booed that big time. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I got it out. I got it out. And they're just not gonna like this water slapping the side of the boat. It's probably gonna spook these fish off. There's one. Oh, come on, baby. Ooh, runner. These are not giants, but they are perfect eaters. Coming in. So these are white crappie, y'all. You could tell by the by the bars on them. Real good eater, right? There. It's not explosive, but they're definitely spawning in here. There's a little piece of something right there, like something tiny. It seems like when I get close to that, when I bump it, that's when I get a bite. Either that or they're just nipping this thing. Okay, also let me explain what is going on here with crappie spawn. Because I don't think I have done a video really talking about what happens. Because I just learned really what's going on under, under the water this year. You know, you have bass. They go up there and they make a bed. A male bass moves up, they make a bed. And a female will come in, fertilize those eggs. She, she's up there a couple days, maybe just a day, overnight possibly. And the male bass is up there for maybe you know four or five days maybe a week uh, well a crappie the timing is is similar with the males and females but the, the male crappie they swarm together so they group together and they are like a swarm of hornets when uh, when they get on a nest so they're all protecting these these eggs so you get one fee one or two females that goes in there and the crappie are all spawning I, I learned this from uh, the crappie guide that I went with up in Missouri. So I was talking to him about, oh man, it's so fun to fish for crappie in the spring up shallow because you can get a bunch in one spot. And he said, yeah, yeah, that's how they spawn. That's how they do it. So when you're catching a bunch in one area, you're most likely catching just males. What I'm gonna do right here, I'm just switching it up. Went to a mini banger. Since I'm getting a few bites, just fan cast it around here. I'm gonna throw this. And it'll also help me detect any pieces of cover. So the way that the crappie spawn is they usually pick something to spawn on that's, you know, they like a hard bottom like a bass, but they'll usually get on like a stick or a bush. Um, 
you know, a hanging a lay down tree, something like that. I mean, literally something as small as, as a twig. Um, and that's what these fish are on up here. Ooh. Cracked by a catfish. Get jumped in the water. Holy, what the, what the deuce? That's why I put this crankbait on because it's catch other stuff too. Oh my gosh. You want to talk about explosive pop. Ah. Oh, you're going to eat. You are going to eat. Uh, come here. Uh. Don't, don't you do that. Don't you get the nastiness. The catfish are spawning as well. That is apparent. Get a little goo on the carpet. A little goober. Okay. Get this guy in the live well. I swear I got a bite on this point earlier and I thought it was a bass, but I bet now it's a catfish. And that's when you know you're just you're just in the fish. You're just where they want to be. When you're catching them caddies. Mmm, you're a tasty one. Don't like cleaning you, you're kind of a pain. But golly, you're going in. Well, looks like this was not a super productive spawning spot, but they were there. Tempted to go back even further, but before I do, I want to go hit this big pile. Uh, if there's big females that are waiting to move up, I want to try to hit that spot and see if we can catch, you know, big 16, 17 inch. Whew, y'all, okay. I got on the fish. I'm about to catch the drop. But, uh, there's, so there's something happening on my insides, I think, with that sausage that is that's turning me inside out so uh this is going to be pretty just uh you take a network break or something quick word from our sponsors well sometimes nature calls and you just have to answer that's why this delicate moment is brought to you by the guggen lab where you can learn specific tips and techniques to help you be a better dangler subscribe to the guggen lab to learn more about fishing and don't forget to visit GuggenSquad.com where you can pick up all the latest swag, baits, and special sales you won't find anywhere else. And don't forget, you can always use the code LFG at checkout to save 10%. Now back to our much fresher feeling program. Shoo! Okay. Do not look over there. Let's catch fish. There's definitely some bigger ones hanging right here. I'm going to let my jig right down in there there it comes come on get it they're not quite getting it on the swing it's like they're chasing it but they don't want to fully commit i'm going to change colors the bait oh man there's a big one coming after it got him Ooh. thought he was big oh yeah yeah beauty that is a beaut. I watched that, watched that fish come on the live scope. I was like, oh, there's a big one. Might come eat it. And then he was on before I could finish the sentence. That's a beauty right there. Just an absolute beaut. Black crappie. So beautiful. Love you so much. And you're going to eat good. I'm just catching uh, good eaters here, guys. Okay, I don't know what is going on with these fish, but they don't want to bite. So I'm going to maybe try to find another shallow spawning area. Cause that is fun. That's maximum fun. On the hunt for crappies, roll up in the back of a pocket, see my first bass on a bed. I might have to catch it. Yeah. Get one of these five inch dragon drops. I always like to start out with a weightless bait and just see what they do. I'm just gonna rig that wacky. Sorry, switching over to bass for a minute. This is probably gonna be next video, focusing on bass, but I just saw one. Thought, what the hey? Oh, oh my gosh, whoa. Doing hard circles on it. 
Got it. Nipped it. <laughs> that was fun. I was just twitching it at the surface, and he just did not like that at all. Yeah, y'all, all I can see is just a black tail now. I can't even see the other one, so I'm afraid this is going to have to end our day right now. I'm not finished with crappie, though. I'm, I'm going to get up in the morning. I really want to find that good wad, the swarm. This gives me a good footing to start on tomorrow and go explore some other areas that uh, that I just I need to find them. just a little pocket that's got just a piece of cover with a hard bottom and I know I know at some point we're just gonna get on them and just start smashing crappie but I, I got a few for the cooler and um, we'll continue tomorrow to find the swarm of spawning crappie give it a little hot coffee right here Let me just get a morning sip. Sunrise coming through the trees right here on the <laughs> Love you, America. Love you, Texas. Love you, Lake Fork. Okay, so we have a really good situation for fish coming up into the shallows these next few days, y'all. Full moon coming into effect. We have water temperatures 62 to 65. The winds are switching around from the south. They have been out of the north, so we have other spawning areas that were getting kind of beat up by the winds and stuff like that yesterday these last few days now it's going to start stabilizing so really important for spawning fish stable water so when water is fluctuating you got big rains or the the lake the they're letting water out of the dam uh, that dropping water will really push fish back they'll hold uh, if they're on bed sometimes they'll pull off and they want stable water conditions water temperatures in the 60s, low 60s, mid 60s, perfect. That's what we got right here. And a full moon, it is all coming together. So those are the elements we want to look for for spawning fish. I think we're going to see a lot of fish coming up in the next few days. So I'm going to finish my coffee. We're going to get in the silver bullet and we're going to get out there and see hopefully everything is coming up in the shallows. Coming in here to spawn shad, shatter spawning in the backs of the creeks. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of crappie on the on the breaks as I'm coming in, but I'm sure as I get back here, there's going to be some that are that are up there shallow, and maybe even in the same spot where I caught them spawning yesterday, they might be loaded up. We're going to see y'all, and we might we might even get into a big old bass coming up today. It's such a good time of year to fish. There is a nice crappie right there just plucked off of a single piece of timber out here. Very nice. Mm. Oh goodness. That's a hussy. That's a that's some of them nice old hussies. Oh goodness, that is just gone. Woo, baby. Come here, child. Yep, exploring for crappie. One dag old green one's ate it. Can't take it too hard on this because I don't want to lose this little crankbait that is just gobbled. It's gobbled down the hatch. Yay! That's a nice, healthy one, man. Fresh fish just moved up. Man, the fish is about four pounds. Really nice. That little banger just disappeared. Just sucked it in. Gone. 
I figured that might happen. I figured that might happen. The old big in there, but we'll let that fish go. All right, guys. Nice fish. We're going to let it go. Back to do your thing. This cove looks really good, and I'm hoping that there's some crappie in here. If there's not, I'm going to switch gears, and I'm going to start bass fishing. That's going to be the next video because it should start really picking up now. I wanted a crappie fish uh, at the start of this just because of the, the cold fronts that were coming in. Uh, I think the, fish, the bass fishing is just going to get better and better. So I'm going to swing through here. There's little stick ups. It looks like a good bedding area. It's shallow. It's warm. And I'm going to throw this crankbait around. I'm going to throw my crappie jig and hopefully we get into a pile of them. Mm, that is a. Uh... Crappie. Not quite, guys. We got a bass on. Oh, you know, these old green ones. These old green ones are coming out. Got that one right off that bush there. Just gave the old grub a thump in the very back of the creek here. All right, little boy, see ya. All right, y'all, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up. I never could find the mega swarm of crappies and it just it looks like a lot of bass are starting to move up shallow. So I'm gonna switch gears. That's gonna be the next video, but I just love this time of year though, when I can keep both, you know, crappie and bass rods on the deck and just alternate going down the bank. It's, it's so much fun. It keeps you activated all the time because you're thinking oh crappie could be here uh, bass could be here and what you'll find is a, a lot of species will interconnect and bass and crappie go hand in hand they often live in the same areas but i'm sure if i've fished up shallow long enough with little you know rooster tails and grubs and things like that little crankbaits i would get white bass yellow bass um, and of course you know catfish catfish as well they usually start spawning in may down here and so they're they're already starting to come up uh, it's just fun. It is fun springtime bass fishing up shallow, everything spawning. But now I'm gonna focus in on bass because we, we got a full moon coming up and I know some big bass are gonna be moving up into the shallows. And uh, when I was crappie fishing this morning, I did see one about six or seven kind of moving up on a bed. It wasn't quite settled in yet. So we're gonna be looking up shallow to, to try to find some hogs. Thank you guys so much for tuning in so blessed to get to do what I do and I, I love running into you guys on the water and and out and about and uh, and you guys just watching commenting just it's good so thank you guys very much I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one